Hello, my name is Michelle Elin. My film is called Heterosexual Jill. It's a feature-length comedy, and it's basically about a woman named Jill who's trying to be an ex-lesbian. She goes to conversion groups, and she gets this crazy idea in her mind to date her ex-girlfriend to prove to herself that she's no longer attracted to her. I am the writer, director, producer, uh, one of the lead actors, and the editor. So I wear a lot of different hats, and uh, it's a low-budget production, but it also keeps it fun for me to be real hands-on and be involved in all parts of the process, too. Uh, a few years ago, I did a, a story called, or a feature called Butch Jamie, where I play a butch lesbian actress that gets cast as a man in a film. And I thought it would be fun to do a follow-up movie where I basically uh, follow Jill and Jamie a few years later. Jill's in that movie. Jamie J dates Jill, and Jill thinks Jamie's a man in that movie. And so that would be interesting to follow up a few years later and explore their relationship and their characters. I don't call it a sequel because I do think that the film stands on its own. Um, but it is a continuation, and I actually have a third installment to the series that I'm writing right now, and I hope to shoot later this year, called S&M Sally. So when I did Butch uh, Jamie, I basically called a satire on gender, and it deals pretty much with gender and gender issues and gender dynamics. And I thought it would be interesting to do a follow-up movie to tackle a different theme, in this case, it's sexuality. And I wanted to kind of look at sexuality as existing on a continuum, because um, I personally believe very few people are 100% gay or 100% straight. And so I wanted to sort of explore it existing on a continuum and people's relationship to their identity, because like taking the idea that you're not, let's say, Jamie, who I play, a butch lesbian, not 100% lesbian in the movie, and she starts having these dreams about men, and how does, she, how does she feel about that? What's her relationship to her identity? And so the film kind of pokes fun at people's over-attachment to who that they think they are and who they think they should be, whether they're gay or straight or somewhere in between. It's really just your relationship with your identity. I think for me, for my own sexuality, uh, I came out when I was in high school as a gay. And actually, the first thought that I had in my mind, which is kind of funny, I was like, oh, thank god I'm not bisexual. Because I always think that that would just be challenging. And as I've um, sort of you know, gotten older and met more people and talked to more people, um, you know, I think like a lot of gay people in particular don't, or probably straight people too, don't they don't understand bisexuality. And um, as I've sort of gotten older and talked to more people, I was like, you know what, not only do I understand it, but I felt like there was a certain point where I felt like I was an advocate or an ally for bisexuality in terms of like, okay, I get it, it's a continuum, it's a spectrum, and so um, I liked the idea, and I always kind of thought too, like, even though I'm gay, I'm 95% gay, and that doesn't mean that I date men, but it means that there's grays. I think most people have gray, and I just thought it would be interesting to sort of explore that in a film, because you don't see that a lot. And I think that society, they want everything to be real clean cut in these neat boxes, and so I just think it's kind of an interesting perspective to kind of play with that. Mm -hmm.